Today's project is a little different than normal. So when I moved into this house, it had this midget door. And so I threw this on the outside because when you close it, it looks fine, especially with the curtain behind it. But what I found in here was there was a pocket door at one point in this window area. And then they knocked out some concrete down here so what we need to do is make this all look nice like it was always here. And we'll see how that goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on that line and that line and see what it looks like. The first tool is the Sawzall with a metal blade because we're gonna chop this uh, little joint right here and uh, take out those nails. And we're gonna do the same down there at the bottom. I think we got a nail. Next, we gotta cut across this line so that we can fold this whole thing right on this line. So I have to cut right across here and then I'm gonna push this and it's gonna work. Okay, we've come to the satisfying part where we push this and it just breaks on that line and then we cut it with a razor blade. Here we go. Yay! I guess it could have been more satisfying. There we go. I mean, it made some progress here. So this is all correct. We're gonna put a two by four in here and a two by four over here. And then we'll sheetrock this one little piece. I gotta cut this a little more up here because this was from a previous cutting and we need the two by four to go all the way up. I'm gonna chisel off this lip right here, but I didn't have my chisel, so I, uh, use the hammer, but it would be much easier just to go On this side, we got a little bit more excitement. We're trying to make it level with this board. There's really nowhere to um, measure from. So what I did was I put this thing on here like so and squared it across and then made a mark on there. See? Then I measured from there to there and from there to there and we got that measurement. So now we're gonna go straight up there to the top and make a cut. So our last piece of demolition here, hopefully, is we're just gonna cut that with the sawzall. We're gonna slice that with a razor blade down to the bottom. We're gonna stick the saws all through at the bottom, cut the little bottom thing, and then push that, and it's gonna just break on the line, razor blade down. What do you guys think? We cut the top, razor bladed the side, cut across the bottom. Now we're just gonna push on it, and it's gonna snap. There we go. We'll just slit it with the razor right down the front side. I gave it a little coat of spackle here and uh, put on one molding. I didn't have enough molding in stock to uh, make it around the whole thing, but um, we're closer. I have to go to Home Depot, figure out something for this floor. I'll just glue something on there for now, I think. I'm not sure what yet. It's about one foot. Okay, today's excitement is this window. It's got some bad setup. So what we need to do is make this look nice so that people think that this is not a hole in the wall. Some of our problems are that this comes out further than this. We got um, all sorts of goodies. But I think that a little wood in here and across the bottom, we can make this happen. Okay, update. We custom fit this two by four in there. I 
slid in these. We put that one in with a screw. We put that one in without a screw. These are going to hold the drywall up. This is pretty good down to there. We're just gonna drywall right down to there. I'm gonna do wood across the bottom. I gotta add a little more wood into here. Might cut the same piece right here and take a little piece, little piece, little piece, and then put down wood across the bottom. We're on the put it back together. Just cut a piece of sheetrock there. We're gonna put this one on next. We'll do this side and then throw a board on there. We're molding around the outside, hide all that and uh, close it up. We got some in place sheetrock here. Looks good. Throw a piece of mahogany that I had sitting around or whatever it is, some sort of hardwood. Um, now we're just gonna mold in around the outside and uh, paint the thing. But then I'm looking at this floor that's just terrible. So I might get some vinyl and throw some of those vinyl planks right over it and uh, put a new um, molding across the side. One, two, three. So today we're gonna do some more work here. We got we got this here. Um, we gotta do some moldings around the edge. We gotta finish that molding over there. We're gonna paint everything. Uh, this is gonna be yellow, and that's gonna be white. Um, we gotta do a little more filling here, so I should do that first because. We're going to do a little quick sand and fill, and then just paint it. I touched up the ceiling paint, and it seemed to match, so we're going to leave the ceiling without painting it. I just did these uh, trim moldings around the top. We're going to leave this door molding for right now, but I think I might take them off. We're going to redo the floor molding, so I'm going to pull those off right now. And then we're going to paint this room so it's ready to go. Then we got to do the trim. Today we have made it to the point where we've done the trim around the area um, top and then we uh, are just getting ready to do some rollering. It didn't change out this because it looks okay, but we're gonna paint it all anyhow. Super yellow, let's see how it goes. Okay, we got the first coat on here. It's looking pretty good. Definitely needs a second coat. The marquee, not a very good cover. We're almost out and this room's only like 10 by 10. So um, I'm hoping that we get enough to roll out a second coat over this whole thing. We got the second coat on. It's just drying right now. I think it's gonna look good. I see some lines, but they're still wet. Here in the threshold, we cut a piece of this and I threw some mortar underneath there to flatten it out. So now we're gonna do a, a floor made out of um, vinyl, vinyl wood. I don't know how I'm gonna do this threshold here yet, but stay tuned. We're gonna, do trim, we're gonna paint the trim and this with uh, some white. Today we're gonna learn how to do some vinyl flooring here. We got these vinyl planks with some cork on the back and we're going to put them down here. Our first obstacle is that this fits almost perfectly and so I only have like a hair here. It says to leave a quarter inch gap but on this entryway we're not gonna have any um, moldings so we're gonna try and cut it real close. I guess I'm gonna do a little piece for that and see how it goes. 
I'm getting ready to make my first cup. It's gonna fit right there. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully, over here, it looks like we're probably just caulked at. Over here, we gotta add a little piece on, but we're not really gonna do that yet because I need an extra piece from over here. But for now, we're gonna cut this, see how it fits, and go from there. For this first cut, I used this little tool here. Um, we just it cuts right through. Um, for the second, I'm going to score it across this whole line, right across. It's going to crack off, and then we're going to do this piece, and then crack that one off. So I scored it, and then I broke it. Let's see if this one breaks off. Eh. That one doesn't feel like it's going to break yet. Let's see. Oh. I guess it worked. Our first cut has turned out well. Um, I think we're gonna just caulk that. Normally you'd put that underneath, which we're gonna do in the rest of the room, but these are already in. So let's see how the next piece goes. Once we get this first row done, the rest of the room is nice and easy. And today we're testing the Pace Setter Vinyl Tile Cutter, because the guy told me that it would cut through it like butter. So we're gonna take off five and three quarters inches from here and see how much butter that goes through. So what I'm doing is I'm just lining it up making sure everything's right. I'm getting ready to push this down. You guys ready? One, two, three. Uh, I don't think it's cutting. Tile cutter fail. Here are the directions, just in case you think I'm doing it wrong. So I finished my first row. Took a little longer than expected. Took like an hour. But the rest of it should be really easy. And the reason I started with this side was because if I started from the other side and came this way, if there was a half tile here, I think it would have looked bad. So I started with this because it's gonna look the best. It looks better than the floor already. Let's see if we can get the rest of the box on here real quick. So this is what I made it up to. This took about an hour and a half, but now it's gonna go smoothly. I did just sacrifice the tile because I wanted this one to be uh, further away than this one. So that's how it's looking. We got the floor down here. It seems to be pretty good. Uh, this piece broke over here. Um, that when I connected them, like it comes up, but it's going to be underneath that. And the same thing happened in that corner over there. A little piece is broken. My floor tester. I just got to finish up these baseboard moldings and it's ready for furniture. Check it out. Like new. See, all in one weekend. You could do it too. You just need a full crew. Or me. <laughs>